And once we get Texas into production, uh, we'll be advancing the Dewey Burdock project uh, into production. And, and that's because it's what I would consider to be an advanced project. It already has its federal licenses and permits. There's some court work that has to be done, as well as the state permits have to be completed as well. And we've kind of budgeted in an 18 to 24 month window uh, to get all that work done. So that times perfectly with uh, the, the execution of our plans in South Texas to allow us to be able to, to begin development of Dewey Burdock. And this is a project that has, uh, as you can see, has very good uh, known mineral and uh, measured and indicated resources. Plus, there's tremendous upside, both uh, adjacent to South, uh, to the, the Dewey Burdock project in South Dakota, but also across the state line in a property called Dewey Terrace, where we see a tremendous amount of upside. So once we complete the transaction and close, we'll also be looking to spend some money on advancing Dewey Terrace and another project nearby called Aladdin to increase the production, uh, the productivity and production pipeline out there. And as you can see, the, the economics are, remain relatively robust with uh, Dewey Burdock. And that's simply because of the quality of the ore body, uh, as well as the, uh, the, the operating costs. And we expect these this robust economics to, to last, even though we currently are talking, you're hearing the news about the inflationary pr activities. But coupled with uh, the increasing price of uranium that we expect to see over the next couple of years, uh, Dewey Burdock would be a very good project to kind of fit that wedge in between our, our uh, Texas operations and ultimately getting into New Mexico.